we today are making the best and the easiest cookies ever. No big fudge cookies. This is a recipe that's been around for eons and um, my mom made it and I've made it. Well, today is the first day of school. So I thought I would show you guys how to make no bake fudge cookies as an after school snack because they're really quick and easy. They literally take like not even five minutes to make. And um, they're semi healthy. Depends on your definition of healthy. I have a loose definition of healthy. <laughs> um, so they're pretty healthy. Um, they also keep really well. Now, there are a couple little tricks to this. So we're getting lots of thumbs up. So that must mean everybody loves no bake fudge cookies. Good. Because this really is a traditional recipe that is just wonderful. And like I said, we're starting the first day of school today on the way home when I picked up Jack on his first day of school. I saw the first yellow leaves on the tree. And then I was just standing here getting ready for the video and I looked out my window and our little maple tree is already starting to turn yellow. Can you believe that? Aren't you excited, dear? No. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm excited uh, for cool, but not for winter. I haven't even started my gardening for the year yet. <laughs> now it's time to be wrapping it up. So anyway. Okay, so this recipe is in our Dining on a Dime cookbook on page 274, right here. The Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 274. And so just a little FYI, we are working on getting more books ordered. But at the rate that we have been selling the cookbooks, the YouTube videos have just through sales through the roof. Um, I maybe have two weeks left of cookbooks left and it's probably gonna be four to eight weeks before we get any more in. So if you're needing one for a birthday or a gift or something, you might wanna grab it now. That way you can have your copy. We should have some in before Christmas, but we won't, it'll probably be closer to mid-October before we get them in, if that soon. Maybe the end of October, maybe closer to Halloween. So anyway, if you want that. Also, our other books are on sale for 50% off. Penny Pinch and Mama, Menus on a Dime if you're too tired to cook, Quick and Easy Menus um, if you're running out of time, and Dig Out of Debt. All these are 50% on our website. These are our print books only are on sale when they're gone. They're gone. We're not doing any more print books, only ebooks. So Mike has this thing he wants to park in the garage, although if we order more dines, I'm not sure we will. All right, to get started on no bake fudge cookies. Uh -oh. Jenny wants to know, uh, are these the kind of no bake fudge cookies with oatmeal? Yes, these are. These are the no bake fudge cookies with oatmeal. And you can make them with or without peanut butter. And Stephanie wants an apron dressing. She wants you to show your apron off. Oh, my apron. Oh, this this apron today is pink. Yeah. So I used to hate pink when I was a little girl. My mom, get this, put pink flowered wallpaper on my ceiling of my room. So I would lay in bed and I would see all this pink flowered wallpaper. And I love flowers, but I hated the color pink. Well, now I'm kind of getting into pink again. So are you happy about that, Mike? Yes. One stick of butter. Whoa! Well, that was warmer than I thought it was. So it's no bake, but it is milk or It's cooking. no bake, but you cook it in the pan. So melt one stick of butter or margarine. I usually use margarine, but I didn't have any on hand, so I did butter today. And into it, add your sugar. Mike will put the recipe link in there. And... We have milk. Aren't my little measuring cups cute? They're so cute. And we have cocoa. This is baking cocoa, just like regular baking cocoa, not chocolate chips. That is going in there. 
I bet you thought the house was going to be on fire, dear. <laughs> and it wasn't. Okay. It happened a couple of times. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so you mix all those four ingredients together. And then I'm whisking them. See what it looks like there? See, the cocoa doesn't really get mixed in really well. So I'm whisking it to get the cocoa mixed in. Da, 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 da. You want me to sing for you while I do this? <laughs> Okay, so you get it mixed in like that, see how it looks, and then get my butter is going to finish melting, but that's what you that's what you want to look like, okay? All right, any questions while I'm stirring this? Uh, let's see. Stephanie, you love the pink. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm glad you like the pink. Yes, I am getting there. Letting my inner pink come out. Stephanie says, I'm glad I just got mine. I think she might be talking about the book. Oh, you're dining on a dime? Yeah. This was in our desserts. This dessert we make at least once a week. Well, not quite once a week, but at least two to four, probably two to four times a month. We really do. Um, what's so funny is this is actually a really good summer recipe. Oh, Mike, look up our no-bake summer desserts. That's, I think this is on there, too. And we have a, a article that we did on 20, I think. Was it 20 no-bake desserts? I think that's the title. And last year was hugely popular. This year we haven't promoted it so much, but it's hugely popular. Um, now you're going to bring this to a boil. We're at high altitude here because I'm in Colorado. And so it takes a little bit longer for me to get to a boil. And then we're going to boil it for a minute at regular sea level. At high altitude, I boil it for a minute and a half. And, oh, sorry. And I was going to make tostadas for you guys, too. And I broke open the hamburger that I just bought. I was thinking, wow, this does not smell good. So I asked Mike, and he said, this does not smell good. So we're going to take the hamburger back to Walmart because I'm really hacked that I spent 10 bucks. No, I spent more than that, 20 bucks on hamburger, and it was bad. We don't need to be streaming from the ER. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll be streaming from the ER, that's for sure. Good grief. Yes. Yeah, my son's standing over there. He's like, Mom, this smells pretty bad. <laughs> I was thinking, hmm, do I try this? Do I not? We've had food poisoning a couple of times, and we're thinking, no, we're not going to try this. Okay, now I'm starting to come to a boil. Any questions while we're waiting? Can you see inside the pan? <laughs> What? Can you see inside the pan? No, not from where you are. Okay. Can you move it closer? No, hold on. Let's try this. Big Bear says since we're in Colorado, these could be special brownies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're in Colorado. These could be very special brownies. And I don't recommend it, by the way. We have a special bunch of dumb people voting here. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, can you see that boiling now? Yes. Oh, okay. that's good. Okay, BJ, can you set the timer for a minute and a half? Okay, so in Colorado, I boil these for a minute and a half. But if you're down in Georgia, Big Bear, Robin is making these for you. One and a half minutes, yes. 90 seconds. Um, you'll want to just do it for a minute. And you'll want to watch your heat. You don't want your heat real high because you don't want to scorch your butter or your milk either. And I had mine too high, so I'm going to lift it up and let kind of cool down just a little bit so it doesn't go too too quick here because you don't want to scorch your <laughs> cookies and burn them which i'm an expert at no comments back there on my burning cookies actually katie says bad hamburger means just means cookies for dinner yes well that's kind of what i'm thinking because now i have no idea what i'm going to cook for dinner although i was going to make tostadas with beef i guess i could make bean tostadas but i don't know then uh, I also forgot to tell you, you can make these dairy-free and use any 
kind of dairy substitute you want. Yay, everybody's liking it. Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like these cookies because these are the best and that'll get more people on Facebook and then more people will join us and that'll be great. Then we can buy more cookies. Um, <laughs> but uh, you can use almond milk, rice milk, soy milk, any other milk you want. You can also make these gluten free, which I'm making today because I want to eat some. Not as cheap as regular oatmeal, but it's still... Um, okay, is that my time, BJ? Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this back over here, dear. Can you follow me? Okay. Now, you can put peanut butter in this, and the recipe calls for peanut butter, but Mike doesn't like peanut butter. He's a peanut butter snob. And I've turned off my heat here, so now is where I would put in my peanut butter if I was using it. But since I love Mike and I thought he might want some, oh, I'm yeah. going to put in... Look at my cute little hummingbird. Aren't those cute, cute little hummingbird, uh, what do you call that? Measuring, Measuring spoons. spoons. Not cute. Okay, so I'm putting in a teaspoon of vanilla. Stir that in, and then I'm putting in my oats. Karen's asking, do you have to work fast to make these? No, not horribly fast. No. I mean, you kind of do, but, I mean, I wouldn't go and talk to the neighbor and come back, but... You, oh, well, that was dumb. Why did I do that? Okay, normally I don't stir it with the whisk. I don't know what I was thinking with that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't go and talk to the neighbors, but you don't have to kill yourself hurrying either. Okay, so now I've got my... Oops, hold on. There we go. See how my fish. oatmeal is all mixed in there? Okay, so I'm going to set my burner to the side and hopefully not burn myself out. And I'm bringing my cookie sheet. Now, normally I have a still pat. Okay, let me re-say that since I was bumping. Normally I have a still pat on here, but my still pat looks nasty and my cookie sheet looks nasty and I don't have a new one for the videos yet. So I just put foil down and I greased it. You can put wax paper down. It works just fine. And you can just put them on a greased cookie sheet if you want. I just don't like to clean up the mess of cleaning a cookie sheet. Then just take spoonfuls and place them on your cookie sheet and let them get hard. Now sometimes these will not set up and get hard. So you got two options and one a couple of reasons why. You're at high altitude and you didn't boil them long enough you have really high humidity and the humidity got to them and you didn't boil them long enough so like in kansas we um do you think your mother doesn't have eyes in the back of her head i see that <laughs> go put your face be, on camera They're i was gonna say you. be careful you don't burn yourself go tell them how much you like it or don't like it Come tell everybody if they're delicious or not. Okay, just come tell everybody how delicious they are. Oh, they taste burnt. Oh, stop it. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> everybody's not going to Everybody's gonna think I'm a horrible cook then. Angie and a couple of other people say they used to call these cow drop cookies <laughs> or cow patties. Yeah, some people call them all kinds of interesting names. We won't go there. And yes, in Colorado, they add interesting things to them also, which I do not recommend once again. Okay, let's see. Can I do that? All right, so now I'm scraping out. Now, the thing is, is if you make these and they don't set up, you can just eat them straight out of a bowl, which is great. It's like fudge then. Or you can use them as ice cream topping. Oops, just dubbed all over the place. Why am I dripping everywhere? Okay. Was it good, BJ? <laughs> Dear, Shannon says, I think I'm gaining weight watching you make this. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm trying to decide if I should go back on my no sugar thing again. And don't really want to, to be honest. Sugar makes the world happy, I believe. Okay. Then you can get them all pretty and all circular like that. 
And you try to get, now if you really wanted these perfection, all right, BJ, you want to lick the pan? Not good. You don't want to lick the pan? Are you sick? Yep. He's just shy to be on camera. <laughs> Maybe we could find your girlfriend. No, I'm good. Um, I'd like to stay in the age range of under 20. <laughs> okay, so here is our no-bake fudge cookies. Can you move closer to yourself? Oh, do you see the halo going over them? Nice. Is there a halo? Uh, angels are singing. The angels are singing? Yes. Oh. And your mom says zero calories, of course. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. No big fudge cookies. I told you, the show's been on for 15 minutes and we're done. I mean, and half of that was me explaining, so. Yeah, they, like, Ellie, our daughter puts it together in five minutes, Yeah, right? literally it takes five minutes. If I wasn't on the show, I would have been done in five minutes, probably. Um, and we're at high altitude, so it takes us a little bit longer to um, to set up. Okay, let's see. Are they already getting set up? Not quite. Okay, any questions? So Rosalind says if you whisk the sugar and cocoa together really well before adding it to the pot, it's a bit faster to get it mixed. That's true. It is. I just never remember to do that. So yeah, you can whisk your sugar and your cocoa uh, together and the sugar breaks up the cocoa, which is great. I just never remember to do it. Lois says I just ate some of your Mexican hamburger casserole and it was delicious. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's actually really good. And if you have dining on a dime, it is on page something what page is it on let's see here you want me to see it on the site um yeah you might look at okay so maybe so if you have dining on a dime mexican casserole is on 185. there right there Ta -da. and on that recipe you can substitute substitute salsa for the garlic and onion powder and then it's a little spicier. Uh, let's see. Your mom mm. says sometimes the humidity makes a difference and they don't set up as well. Mm -hmm. So best not to do it on a rainy day. Yeah. So if you're in Louisiana right now, I probably wouldn't make these. And we're sorry for you guys down Man. there. Man. Sounds like you guys are having what we had three years ago. Yep. We're feeling your pain. Oh, Jeremy, or Jeremy, Shannon is asking, uh, she said she just got on part of the way through the show and she was wondering if this recipe is in the cookbook. It is on page 274, right there. So that's where the book is. You don't see me eating the other. Mmm. Oh, man, those are good. Mmm. Oh, somebody, Ramona was saying haystacks. These are not haystacks, right? Mm -mm. Haystacks are coconut and chocolate chips basically melted together. Or some people use ramen noodles instead of coconut. These are not haystacks. Some people call them, well, they call them all kinds of things, but we call them no-bake fudge cookies. Um, okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> Big Bear wants to lick the pan. Yeah, I wish I could give it to you. Wow, lots of people are saying yummy on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, this is our go-to after-school snack. And it's semi-healthy. I mean, it's got peanut butter and oatmeal in it. How unhealthy can that be, even if it's wrapped around sugar and chocolate? <laughs> Rosalind says she's going to go make some now. Uh, Ramona says I use wax paper on the cabinet or table to cool them. Yes, you can. I just ran out of wax paper and my sill pat. Usually I put them on my sill pat, but my sill pat was pretty nasty and I didn't feel like, um, what? Deleting all the nasty comments about how nasty my sill pat looked. It's, it's pretty well used. It's well very used. well used, yes. Karen asks, could you add coconuts? Yes, you could add coconut That's and you delicious. can add nuts. What I forgot to tell you. You can add a half a cup of nuts to this, any kind you want. And you can use smooth or chunky peanut butter, either one. So if you have chunky peanut butter, you don't need to add the nuts, but you can. 
So Denise says she just dumps hers in a 13 by 9 pan instead of dropping it, stick it in the fridge and cut it in squares when they cool. You could do that, I guess. I've never tried that. Yeah, I guess that would work. Me, I don't want to clean a 9 by 13 pan, but I'd rather just wrap up the... Like the sill pad is really easy. You just set it in the sink and just wipe it off. And wax paper, of course, and oil, I just throw it away. So, yeah, if you don't mind washing a 9 by 13 pan, that's good. You want to come try it, Jack? So, let's see. Also, uh, Janice says I add raisins or chopped nuts to mine. He did say maybe nuts. Do you want to taste that same thing? Yeah, do you want to try first? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. They're not quite set up yet. They're still warm. But here's one that's getting set. Okay. Tell everybody what you think about it. I couldn't say it's any, uh, anything could be better than this. <laughs> Nothing could be better than that? Nan's on there. You want to say hi to Nan? Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is really our kids' probably most favorite recipe. Yeah, ever. it is. Um, and Radia is asking, what what did you say you're making? Because she just joined. I'm making no-bake fudge cookies from... Um, from our Dining on a Dime cookbook right here. Um, I did put the recipe a little bit ago. Tell everybody what happened today. What was special today? It was my first day of school. <laughs> woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, hi, woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Aren't we excited that school started again? And did you have a good day? Do you like your new teacher? Oh, yeah. Was she nice? Mm -hmm. And who are your friends that you got to see? Abby, Autumn, Chase, and Ethan. And <gasps> yeah. Cool. Like it, but... Okay, you know what? I decided all of a sudden to do a giveaway real quick. I have some damaged copies of Dining on a Dime. So, Jack, mm -hmm. can you go over and hand me a post-it note and a pencil, please? Or wait, maybe Dad can reach it. So they're not horribly damaged, but it's things like the binding got bent up or something. And I'm tired of having them sit in my shipping area. So I'm going to do a real quick giveaway here. So, oh yeah, thanks. Okay, so I'm writing a number down between 1 and 50. What number should I do, dear? Uh-huh. How about, how about our anniversary? That's not between 1 and 50. Oh, you mean the, the day or the month? I don't know. We'll surprise them. Okay, so I'm writing down our anniversary, the day. And if you know me, you can't do this. So I'm writing down our, our anniversary. I wrote it down right here. See? Boop, there it is. Okay, so everybody start writing. Did you see? Did I? Did you know what it was? The day of our anniversary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the first person, the first two people, to do this number, I'll send you the books. They're damaged books, but they're still really good. And it's just like I said, it's just the binding, or they got bent, or something like that. Okay. Go. <laughs> wait. Do you want to? Any more comments? Sure. Give me comments while we're waiting for the number. Uh. Oops. So if you oh. want to enter the giveaway, write down the number that you think our anniversary day is. Oh, now I can't see the comments because they're all flying by. Which I guess is only between 1 and 31, so. <laughs> um, ah. I can't look at comments now, sorry. That's Mine fine. Michael, look real quick. Ramona says if the cookies don't set up, you can add more oats. Yes, if the cookies don't set up, you can add more oats, but we just use them as ice cream topping or put them in a bowl. Matt and Heidi they look yummy. Oh, hello, Matt and Heidi. Are we on your TV again? So we went over to these friends' house at church yesterday, and I have to say, envy entered my heart. Uh, <laughs> it was the coolest house. I can't wait. Oh, tons and tons of numbers. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Does somebody oh. get it? Wait. Actually, I've got to back up to see how far uh, where the first one is. I see one person that got it right, but I want to make sure he's the... Well, Big Bear was the first one to get it right on YouTube. <sighs> Big Bear? <laughs> Seriously? So I see on Facebook. Do we want to, let's see. I'm looking to see on. Uh, Anybody else? I'm looking on Facebook. So far, there are some that are close, but not right on. Guys, there's only 31 days in the month. Actually, there's quite a few that have gotten like 
really close, but not quite right. We uh, just need one more. <laughs> Are we taking close ones? Uh oh. No. The comments are going further down than I can see. There's only 31 days in the month. They can't miss it that far. Well, no, there are a number that are oh, 42. 42! <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, there were, uh, I can't see which one's first because there's so many going by. Well, I haven't seen the right one exactly. Okay. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoops, whoops, whoops. Jenny on Facebook got it right. All right, we got our winners. We got Jenny and Big Bear. <laughs> Jenny Bennett. Jenny Bennett, okay. No, Jenny Boyette. Boyette, okay, so I'm writing your name down with my pen that's not working. So right there, it was 22. Can you see it? 22. Ta-da. Okay, so we've got, we've got Jenny. It. So, and we're going to look back through and make sure there was nobody else before yeah. that. Yeah, if there was somebody else before Jenny, we missed her. I'll send her another one. Jenny, how do you spell it, Boyette? Okay, so, so listen to me. Go to... But they're still entering numbers. <laughs> Go to livingonadive.com and click contact and send me your name and address and I'll mail you one, okay? Now, like I said, they're damaged, but they're not horrible by any means. It's just like this part is just twisted or it's bent or something. So congratulations, you two. Yay. Okay. Any other questions before we go? Well, oh, I this cookie is a misshape in here. I need to oh, fix I think it. The questions all got thrown off the page. Mm. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can... There, I fixed the shape of that cookie. It was a little misshapen in there. Oh, my Southern Expression is asking, can you freeze these? Well, that's a very good question. Honestly, they never last more than about a half an hour at my house, so I've never had to freeze them. Um, you probably could. I don't know. Has anyone frozen them? Let us know, and we'll tell her for sure. But I don't know why you couldn't freeze them. I'm trying to think of any reason why you wouldn't be able to. But honestly, these will be gone before 5.30 comes around um, at our house. So. Oh, some people, uh, Kathleen says she thought that she was wondering if that was how long we'd been married. Oh, actually, it is, isn't it? Oh, it is. Wait, is it? It's not only the date. It's the oh, it's also the year. We, yeah, that's how many years we've been married this year, too. Oh, isn't that sweet? Honey, it's a moment. We're yes. having a moment. He's uh, reading comments. Jen said, I guess, it early in the game. If that means that you got the right number before Jenny, then we will send it to you. Yeah, I'll send you one if you just it before. Mike was having a hard time looking at the comments. Who was it? Well, that was a uh, Janice. Oops, where's Janice? Janice? Okay, we'll go back and look back at the comments. And if you got it before Jenny, I'll send you both one. And I've got like six or seven copies out there that are messed up. I'm having trouble getting back. There were a bunch of questions that got blown off the page by that, and I can't uh -oh. find them now. Okay. So you want to ask if anyone has Okay, any you got any, if you have any questions, throw them on there real quick for Mike, because um, all the questions got blown away by the giveaway. Sorry about that. Um, I just had a moment of, let's clear off the shipping desk. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, I think I'm working on cleaning my garage, and please pray for me. The garage and I are never one. Um, Tabitha says she has frozen them, but she wouldn't do it longer than a week because they get dried out while they're in the freezer. Oh, okay. So there's your answer. You can freeze them, but not longer than a week because they get dried out. Yeah, I guess they would get freeze dried. <laughs> you get it? Freeze dried. It's um, a joke. Nobody got it. Actually, there were a number of people that <laughs> say they might have guessed it earlier on. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Uh, Heidi says, love your recipe. Thank you, Heidi. Leanne says, I ordered mine so I can have a collector's item when you stop printing them. Love you guys. Yeah, you definitely, okay, so we hit the big time. I have to say, I always thought, I know we'll have hit it big when I find the book in the thrift store. I didn't find it in the thrift store personally, but one of our readers, viewers, she emailed me this morning and said she found it at the thrift store. She wasn't even looking for it. She just happened to be there and it jumped off the shelf at her. So we've made it at the big time. Carrie's asking how much is the coat? Uh, dining is $21.95, and then um, Penny Pension and Quick and Easy, I think, are around 6 or $7. Uh, 
about three dollars now and big out of debt is around eight dollars seven or eight dollars now um half price these are all half price so and like i said if you want this now i only have not even a hundred copies left because we have actually been selling them and selling them with all the youtube videos we've been selling as many as we normally sell for our christmas sale every week it's been going crazy which i'm happy for but if you want it grab it so what oh i could have shut it you're on fire here do you want a cookie you're hot enough it? without the sun on you oh honey uh there were a few people that said that there were a couple more people before Jenny, so you might okay. Everybody well, know. guys, I'll go through and look, and if you were that, I've got like six copies. So if that was you before then, and we missed it, we'll just send it to you. And if um, you don't hear from us, you can send us a message. That was on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll private message you on Facebook if you were before her. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Uh, somebody asked if you do the uh, if you made the apron yourself. No, I did not. Mom found this at a garage sale. Deborah says, do you do bundles? Oh, I think that means on the books. Uh, we will do bundles at Christmas for our Christmas sale. And that is always the week, either be the week before or the week after Thanksgiving. It just depends on how long we have between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which I have no idea. I haven't, haven't looked that far ahead yet. So if it's a short week between things, if it's a short month between Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's the week before. And if it's a long one, then it's the week after. And we will have all of them on. Well, I don't know if we're going to put dining on dine on sale again. I'm not sure. Honestly, we're selling enough now at regular price that I don't know that it's worth all the extra work. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. A couple of people are asking about the shipping cost. So shipping for dining is about $4.50, I think. I can't remember for sure. And then it's approximately, if you add the other books in, approximately a dollar per book extra. Not quite, 50 cents to a dollar. It just depends on how much they weigh. But it starts at $4.50. <laughs> Uh, Doreen says they can get it on eBay for $52. There you go. <laughs> Buy it on eBay and it's not even from us. Ha! <laughs> Make somebody rich. That's funny. Why um, would you charge $52 for a cookbook that you can get for $21.95? That makes no sense. Uh, Lucia is asking if they can buy the book in Europe. No, you can't. I'm sorry. You can get the ebook. You should send it with PJ. <laughs> yeah. My son might be going over there. I hope not. No offense to our European friends, but um he uh he has a friend over there that he might go visit uh he's she lives in luxembourg maybe i should send all the cookbooks with him and then he could distribute them have a distribution site in luxembourg and <laughs> everybody will come taste test except we're not done your hair looks kind of interesting yeah i was gonna I was going to see if this part was visible, and then I was going to do the hair thing and be like, Karen wants to know if the books come with a fudge cookie. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. I could throw one in there, yeah. And Heidi's asking if you're going to make any more books. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how we're doing. We're getting ready to set up a subscription site to where we give you a free ebook every month for $3. If that goes well, I might write some more ebooks. But honestly, we're going to have to start seeing some income coming in for mom and I to make it worth it. Um, not to be a dork, but yeah, we kind of like to get paid one of these years after 20 years. <laughs> uh, if you want any more questions. Okay, a couple more questions and then we'll go. Pamela just asked if you ever make three or four meals at one time for the week. Um, Pamela, yes, I do make three or four meals at a time for the week. What I will do is roast a chicken, and then I'll use that chicken. So I'll eat roast just chicken one night, chicken and noodles another night, chicken soup the third night. I'll make a roast, and I'll eat. We'll eat it as roast the first night. We'll eat it as uh, let's see, what's it called? Beef stroganoff the second night, barbecue beef the third night, and maybe beef stew or beef soup the fourth night. And so that's how I cook my meals. I don't do freezer meals or anything, though. 
Leona says that's how he'll get home, BJ, selling time on time books. Yeah, that's probably how he'll get home. <laughs> Let's see, how many cases can he take on the plane? How much would that cost to... It costs fortune. Probably. Alicia is asking why don't you ship using flat rate shipping? Flat in the United States? Uh, I don't know. Who was that? Alicia. Alicia, are you talking in the United States or are you talking in... Oh, she, I think she is your, because your mom is responding saying that it's more expensive. I think she needs flat rate medium mail, maybe, or flat rate priority. Okay, I'm totally confused, but what we do is we send ours media mail, which is the cheapest possible way we can send them. So we send a media mail, and that's how they go. I think she needs flat rate, like, priority. Well, because if we do flat rate priority, it's five ninety five. And so I was just trying to give people the least expensive option for shipping. Oh, it looks like that's pretty much it. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. I think Big Bear Homestead is on after us. So head over to YouTube if you're on Facebook and check him out. He... It's about 20 minutes from now, isn't it? Is in about 20 minutes. It is 20 minutes. I'm not totally sure. I think, I think so. so. I'm not sure. I think he's on in about 20 minutes because usually we go an hour, but today was short because these are just so fast and easy and delicious. And delicious. So, okay. We will see you. I'm headed to Walmart to return my nasty meat. I'm so hacked about. Yeah. And I think Wednesday, sorry, not to keep going on, but I think Wednesday we're going to have our subscription site up for our eBooks where you can get one eBook a month for three dollars and i think i think we'll have that done on wednesday i'm pretty sure it's actually done today mike just forgot to hit the live button <laughs> so <laughs> so um go check that out and we will see you on wednesday at 6 30 no yeah 6 30 oh, eastern or 4 30 mountain big bear says not us freedom acres tonight so i'm not sure when they're okay on. well big bear's not on sorry freedom acres is on i got confused Big surprise. I'm always confused. So, <laughs> dazed and confused. Okay, we will see you later. Have a good night. We're going to have our no big fudge cookies for dinner now. That means I'm supposed to stop it, right? That means you're supposed to stop it. <laughs> Let's see, how many are there each? Two, four, 